So howdy everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, officer update video for Let's Play Together Romance of Three Kingdoms 11. Just the Black Shadow here, I'm uh, just doing this uh, by myself before myself and Alonzo record our next recorded session tomorrow. Um, and it should be proved to be a very, very eventful and interesting one. I don't know if it can be more eventful than given everything that happened uh, over here, but regardless, there is a lot going on the map here, and uh, it should be fascinating. But we haven't done an officer update video for a while, where we check out all the created officers in the game and see what's going on, where it's going on, how people are doing, and uh, yeah, all well, that sort of malarkey. We haven't done one for quite some time. So uh, let us delve into some officers and uh, see what is going on. All officers. So, as always, we'll go down in alphabetical order, as is the usual way, and check out all the great officers in the game. Starting off with uh, Alonzo's Ada Wrong. Uh, it still uh, amuses me. Um, she has been with Marteng now for some time. Uh, she's over now an administrator over at Arm Ding, which is a bit surprising, but I guess she's got a lot of political school. It's kind of ish her, her role, political as well as a, a solid uh, warrior lieutenant. Um, so, I guess there is definitely that going on. Oh, 10,000 deeds. Over at Arm Ding, of course, things are not looking all that great uh, for uh, Marteng. He's been kind of holding on for a little while now, and things are still looking rather, rather dicey for him. It's very possible that Sao Sao might well take... Uh, Sao Ang, even. Uh, slash Sao P. Sao Ang's going to die pretty much imminently. Uh, will most likely take over Xi Lian, as they historically did do, I guess. So uh, we'll see how that will proceed. Uh, following up for it next uh, is uh, the lovely Akira Katsu, uh, who has been with uh, the Turbans for some time now. Of course, the wife of Yuan Shang. Uh, now what she is a... Um, she's 34 years old, so starting to get along here uh, decently. Of course, the lovely Gladden Heart. All of these lovely deeds, nothing to show for it. It's a great shame. She is currently marching southwards uh, down with one towards one castle, and whatever and other is exactly um, Alonzo's doing, I can't take a look at if he actually wants to take one castle or not. Maybe he's worried about marching forward and triggering this. I mean, I'd be kind of concerned, but uh, he's kind of sapping away at uh, Wei's resources fairly decently, although, of course, he has other issues at the moment. Much like what the hell's going on over here. There is a lot of movement occurring, so interesting to keep an eye on. But uh, doing decently nonetheless. Uh, going down the list. Uh, next up, uh, Bei Chunga uh, is our next one. The Monkey King, I believe this is. Yep. Uh, 54 years old. Our Pike General. Um, serving with Sun Se. Or Sun Quan now as it is. Uh, just hang on in Jianye here. Um, working as a chief of chain. Not the most deeds, actually, to be fair, in the game. A little bit disappointing to see that. Um, still pretty solid, though. Very nice, solid support unit is, uh, is Bay. Although, this stat needs a little bit to be desired. Um, Baldan, uh, next up here. One of my several crane officers in the game. Uh, also serving Sun Quan. He's had a bit of a weird kind of list, hasn't he? He was, I think he was with Sun Quan... Or, no, was it, I think, with Liu Biao, and then went to join um, Alonzo, I think, after taking him, and then since left after Liu Pi's death. Uh, taking up residence uh, with Wu, uh, where he has been a pretty solid fawn in the side of the Yellow Turbans. Um, again, not the most deeds in the world, sadly. Uh, Skip, obviously, pretty nice tactic there, uh, over down in Chai Sang. Obviously, keeping an eye on this city here. Uh, this is Wu's um, sort of launch pad into... Uh, into Jing province, although things haven't gone too great for them. Uh, they've tried, they've poured a lot of resources in. Hasn't really worked, which I think is why they're making this uh, this southern attack here. Although I can't say I like the composition of units that they're sending here to try and take change. If they could bust through these here, um, then that, they could do some serious damage and potentially even take Changsha. Unfortunately, it's going to be difficult for them to do this, um, given the fact that it's cavalry in, like, forest areas against spears. Um, that's going to really struggle to get through, even if these are, like, seriously, seriously good units, which is, uh, I guess, in a, on a personal front, kind of a shame. What can you do? All right, next up down, uh, going down, is uh, the first of several officers I've got hold of. Uh, Mr. Ben Evelance. Uh, Mr. Aegis, obviously, was a, uh, a pretty big part of joining with the attack for Yong'an. 
Uh, Asia, of course, is a lovely, lovely technique, as I've mentioned, or uh, skill, I should say. Uh, it's just about keeping your pl your units in place if they don't take the fire damage, because they do take a lot of damage. It's a bit like equivalent of if you get, like, critted by an enemy tactic. That's the level of damage you're taking, but, uh, you know, parking it with Yoko, um, you know, and putting just keeping them in the forest. I know it was cavalry, which wasn't ideal, but when you're only taking half damage from all other attacks, it, it levels out much easily. Only 49 years old as well, so hopefully he's got plenty of years left in him. Um, and will continue to be a bit a large backbone of my uh, defense forces there, is the hope. Uh, along with Mr. B Gaming Hub. 54 years old now, um, the warrior um, who has been very, very effective. Uh, chain attack, of course, lovely. Fantastic to have him um, with, like, say, a cavalry unit. Really effective. Spear's also not too bad. But, like, a chain attacking, um, high war stat uh, cavalry unit is a very, very nice. Um, 28,000 deeds for B-Gaming. One of the highest amounts, I reckon, in the entire game. Um, in fact, let's have a look here at um, all the officers. Uh, these are the all the officers in the game. Um, and you can see there, Ben Evelyn's third highest deeds in the game. Um, and if we go on further down here, uh, yeah, Gal Meng's there, uh, a few others, Feng Sao, there's B Gaming there, some unbelievably high amount of deeds for some of these dudes. Unfortunately, I haven't really had the cities to make the most of it. I mean, like, with, with 30 odd thousand deeds, you basically have access to pretty much any rank in the entire game, if you, your city has the, um, has the, uh, if, if you've also had the cities to get hold of said ranks, which unfortunately... I don't, which is a shame. But still has been fantastic for me. I don't know how much longer he's got left, unfortunately, in this game. But uh, it will be a, a damn miss when he does go. Uh, heading on further down our list here. Uh, I think our next one is... Uh, there's no C's, I don't think. No. Uh, the next one would have been Dying No One. Um, but unfortunately, he's dead. Um, Alonso killing him in a fit of, uh, I suppose, frustration. Um, capturing Dive and just executing him on the spot. is a shame. Obviously one of two breeder generals that I have. So that is a... Uh, that's an unfortunate loss. And I'm sure I would have... If he had kept in, I probably would have been able to trade back for him with the hostage exchange we're going to work out next video. Um, but unfortunately, that is not going to be an option anymore. Which is... Pretty bad. It's pretty... Pretty damn bad for me. Which is what it is. So uh, what can you do? Uh, voting on further down, uh, next up is uh, Eo Shin, I believe is next up, who uh, is fairly recently into the game, only at 25 years, did not start off immediately in the active service of the game. Uh, Sumi Yuan Tan, um, she is over towards Jia P, which of course is under heavy, heavy attack by the Sun family. Um, looking pretty, pretty dire, I'll be honest. I suspect Yuan Tan is going to lose Jia P, which is surprising. <laughs> It's probably not good for me in a way. I'd rather Wilbur's put focusing its resources on obviously the turbans, but you can't get everything you can. Poison Tongue is a nice little ability there, so um, the AI try to make use out of these sort of things. They don't always manage, unfortunately. Uh, heading on further down, our next one up uh, is Feng Sao, uh, the created officer of Mr. CM3. 39 years of age. Hopefully has still got some time for him. Has been incredibly, incredibly important to our forces. Um, and a major reason. Uh, one of the big reasons why we took uh, Yong Ahn here. Obviously, S, S Pikes. Clear for um, high leadership in war. His war is, is exceeded 90 now, which is beautiful. Um, has been fantastic. Again, it's a shame I can't make more use of his... Um, more use of his uh, abilities, but uh, it is what it is with his deeds. Hopefully, I'll be getting six cities soon, so I can give a lot of my officers extra ranks, which would be really nice. But uh, fortunately, not the case uh, at the moment. We can see. Uh, further down, who is next? Uh, we, oh yeah, Feng Sao's also got a son as well, Feng Jin, who is not yet featured in the game. Don't know when he's meant to come in. I'd have to look that up, but uh, it's probably got a little bit of distance still to go. But um, that'd be potentially nice to get an extra officer in. I have no idea what Feng Jin's uh, stats are meant to be. I'll have to, I'll have, to have a look. Uh, heading down to the Gs, uh, we got a few. Gao Ming, I've mentioned of previously. Uh, a set, another one of my introduced officers. 57 years old, which is fairly, fairly old for this game. Um, so unfortunately, his stats are likely going to start receding now. 
which is a great shame. Uh, he has, again, been a nice, solid stalwart of my forces uh, with the, uh, you know, A-Spears, A-Pikes, um, solid war, solid leadership, a very nice unit leader. Um, and, of course, his bio, all about um, acting against the other turbans, would never join their dirty forces, of course. I mean, why would you want to do such a thing? It'd be a terrible, terrible thing. Gao Tang Long. That's an interesting name. Uh, heading further down, uh, Gong Sun Jia is up next, uh, wife of Yo Gui, uh, who was a in an inserted uh, sister, daughter even, of Gong Sun Zan, uh, serving Yuan Tan as are quite a lot of the uh, the Gong Sun officers, which kind of is what you'd expect. Um, unfortunately, Gong Sun Zan no longer with us, sadly, um, which is a great shame. So uh, she is actually apparently a prisoner in Shou Chun. Which is pretty crazy. Uh, so that's a very, very nice though as well. A lot is very low. Um, she has certainly no ties to the Yuan family. So worth keeping an eye on seeing how that's going to develop there. Um, and hopefully, you know, she might even... She might look to join like Liu Bei. Or maybe even like the Wu family. I'd be cool with her. That'd be kind of, kind of funky, I reckon. Um, heading also to Fictional Daughters. So we've got Guan Miyu. Who is inserted as a fictional, um, uh, maybe now as a fictional daughter of, um, of Guan Yu. Although for some reason the bio and ties doesn't show that. That's definitely what it used to be. 26 years old, um, you know, decent war stats. The rest, not the greatest, but, um, big bows, chain attack as well. That could be really nice for a bow unit. Uh, if you can get, like, just, like, some, uh, Potentially two interrupted, uninterrupted, unretaliatory uh, attacks against like standard foot units. So that's pretty damn nice. Um, she has uh, plenty of deeds. Unfortunately, no command in Liu Bei's forces, which is kind of crazy. But Liu Bei has so many distinguished generals, it's kind of hard to crack in there. But uh, certainly, I think worthy of getting uh, an officer from there. So uh, Liu Bei making some uh, interesting choices. Uh, further down, I think we've got to go next up is. Um... Uh, Su Hao, I believe, is our next one. Again, all these with a giant amount of war. Not too much of anything else going on here. Uh, 54 years of old. <laughs> yes. Your own more comic character finally makes a return to the world of video games. Hooray. Uh, yeah, 54 years old, um, which is a bit worrying. Uh, colonization, which is obviously a nice little uh, standby ability. Um, can be really useful. You can have, like, part big armies and gates, not to worry about food. You can generate a lot of resources by doing that, or at least not lose a lot of resources doing that. Um, he is in service of Liu Zhang. Um, it's very possible, if I look to take Liu Zhang, I wouldn't mind taking Su Hao. He would be a very, very nice addition to have up at Jiang Ge Gate. I can park, I can station a pretty large army here. Um, not have to worry about loss of food. Um, if I I'd be gaining food here. Uh, he would be a very nice addition there. But I do have to take out Liu Zhang first, and as we've proven, that's not going to be as easy as one would like. The first attack has ultimately failed, um, and I will have to reattempt things here, um, unfortunately. So we'll have to see how we go. But, uh, you know, a man can dream, right? A man can dream. Next uh, up on the list, if I could spell, uh, would be, I think it's uh, Jill, I believe. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, Jill White, uh, serving along with Ma Teng, uh, a solid-looking army officer. Jill White, one of those officers that's just a nice, solid old rounder, can do a little bit of everything. You know, the jack of all trades, which a fair few people went into uh, when they were choosing officers, which makes sense to me. Uh, 39 years old, um, plenty of time probably still left in the game. You know, S weaponry, Siege, that is very, very desirable. That with some decent, maybe like Juggernauts or um, like Catapults or something, Absolutely wreck cities. Um, I haven't seen too much of her, unfortunately, um, in the game, however. I don't think Marteng has made the best use of Jill, which is a great shame because she's a very solid officer. But she's got armory officer, which ain't too bad. Um, she could well get picked up by uh, Wei if Marteng is to crumble. Um, and that would be pretty frightening to fight against. Like, that would give Alonso some... I imagine it'd give him some serious... It'd give me some concern as well. Although I don't expect Wei to march south of Hanzhong. But uh, you never know. These things definitely, definitely do happen. Uh, next up on the list, uh, Karayuki. We get into the case. Uh, who is now getting on 33 years old. Uh, capture. Uh, which is a nice um, little IE um, ability here. 
Um, not one that you've really seen too much of in action, but uh, I'm sure the AA has made plenty of these. But anyway, he's a great little lieutenant. Even so, his stats are still pretty solid as you go here. Uh, serving along with Liu Bei, again, one of many, many, many distinguished officers that Liu Bei has. Uh, Liu Bei's kind of in the position that I'm in, where it doesn't have necessarily the most officers, but a lot of the officers that he has are very, very good. Um, you know, you think um, Liu Bei's got Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, Zhao Yun, had Gong Soon. You know, it has some very powerful generals, some like Yuan Shu's army, and some from like, even like uh, the Yuan's. Um, very, very dangerous. Um, and obviously some of the Gong Soon's as well, so... Solid times. Kiridai up next here, uh, in service of Yuan Tang. Quite a few credit officers actually in Yuan's forces. I guess it makes sense, he's one of the biggest armies in the game, so... Uh, and quite a few credit officers were started off in the north, with Yuan Tan or with Gong Sun Zan. Uh, there or thereabouts, makes sense. Also in service at GRP, uh, 52 years old now, um, one of the horse breeders in the game. Um, I fear may not have too much longer left in the game, uh, which will be a shame. That's the thing, we've now gotten to the point, we've gone far enough in the game, where credit officers are no longer safe. Um, when we created these officers, we gave a window of, I think it was either 10 or 15 years, um, as a minimum age left still to play the game. When we were creating officers and randomly rolling stuff, so uh, that time has now expired. So we're at a point where uh, create officers are at risk of starting to die of natural causes outside of the couple that have died in battle or whatever other reasons. Um, so uh, that is something that does need to be wary of. You know, these officers get into like 50, 60 years of age. I have to start being a little bit worried. You may start seeing recession of skills, um, and that's something to be concerned of for sure. Uh, next up is uh, Kong Yang, uh, who has been a stalwart supporter of Wei uh, since pretty much the start of the game here. Uh, Cunning, which is a really, really nice ability. Uh, he's only got 83 intelligence, which doesn't get the most you announce out of it, but still very solid. And again, stronger strategies, you know, like Perturb and Misanthal. That is incredibly powerful, as we've seen sort of with, um, with uh, what should we call it, uh, Pang Tong and trying to do stuff like that against both way and myself 35 years old plenty of time left in the game uh s weapon as well a cavalry really solid uh lieutenant to have with your forces currently serves runan junior secretary of way that is that's a pretty decent rank as you can see command of ten thousand. it's pretty good check the music there just for a little bit here um okay so next up on the list i believe is my sort of personal personal creator character uh leong yu who is still not in service which makes me so sad oh so so sad that my my own creator officer has had not very much impact in the game it is uh, it is brutal unfortunately Sworn siblings of uh, Feng Sao, uh, meant to be basically a large supporter and joiner of uh, of the Wei forces. Although not Sao P's biggest fan, I don't seem to remember. Um, but other than like joining Gong Sun San's forces early, um, has not taken up service with uh, the Yuan's, and has since not really done a whole lot. He's still uh, free. He's over in Bei Ping, which is up at the uh, the northern part of the map here. Um, makes me really sad to not see him in action, um, and I hope eventually we'll do. I mean, he couldn't just, like, make a trip halfway across China and find his, uh, small brother. Like, I, I'd be cool with that. <laughs> I'd be very cool with that, but, um, unfortunately, it doesn't, uh, doesn't work like that, which, which really, really sucks, but hey. Uh, next up on the list is uh, Mr. Light Greggs. Of course, this is going to be a little bit of a... Maybe a sore spot here. A uh, lot, you know, originally with Liu Biao, uh, then siding with uh, the Turbans when they took over Jing Province, but leaving um, and joining with Ma Teng uh, along with uh, Zhang Lu uh, when Liu Pi died. Uh, now serving as an officer. Interesting that someone like, like Gregs would be put down as in an officership. Like, you'd expect him to probably be given, like, a more. Um, sort of support role, but, uh, you know, that's, I think, you know, it is a pretty decent all round. You can definitely get away with that here. Uh, obviously serving currently in the defense of Arndang, which looks like it's going to fall, I fear. 34 years of age. Uh, well, pretty good for Marteng, actually, because he kind of needs the gold. He is struggling. Um, Alonso didn't 
didn't really need this anymore. He's he's got enough money, realistically. Um, <laughs> I remember some of these bios, good times, but yeah, he's done pretty well for himself. Uh, Seventeen thousand deeds. So it was making use of those in the turban forces. Next force uh, up for here is Lin Yao, uh, another one of the officers that I've managed to recruit here. 36 years of age now, uh, other horse breeder along with Dian, who obviously is now no longer with us. Uh, Lin Yao is going to be a pretty important part of my forces, admittedly. Um, breeding um, is like the one way I'm able to produce more equipment uh, than I normally would do. I have no efficacy um, generals, which Alonso has, I think, like two of, which is ridiculous. Um, as such, I suspect what's going to end up happening is my force is going to probably require a reasonable amount of horses. Um, I have a decent amount of cavalry generals for that matter anyways. Um, so it seems likely that is how this is going to kind of uh, proceed along, which is fine. I've got very, very good generals. And uh, while Alonso does obviously have very some decent spear money, you know, his, uh, the Turbans historically have been, throughout the game, you know, based very heavily on spears, also pikes as well. Um, he, like, my, my ability to use cavalry and cavalry effectively, I think was very well demonstrated in the battle against, uh, the battle of a young arm here. So I'm okay at that. He's got a lot to do. Um, I might even consider giving him maybe, like, a more, uh, uh, rather take him off his officership, give him maybe a more political role. Um, perhaps and keep him on the back front just to get producing forces all over the place. A little unsure, like he's one of my best cavalry generals. I think I'm struggling actually. I don't think I've got many other S class. But I've got loads of A class uh, cavalry, so we'll see how we go there. 18,000 deeds. I need to give you a rank up, man. You thoroughly, thoroughly deserve it. Thoroughly. Uh, next up on our list, I believe, is uh, the great man Shik Liu. Um, now serving along. 42 years of age. Has been with Liu Bei since basically the start of the game has been his strategist since basically the start of the game, which makes me very, very happy. Of course, Liu Bei never met Zhuge Liang in this history. Zhuge Liang ended up joining Wu of all people, which is still kind of crazy, um, but uh, it means that Manchik has been uh, Liu Bei's strategist since, you know, for like 10 years now in the game, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, 18, 11,800 deeds. Uh, here's something that uh, Liu Bei will definitely give higher ranks to uh, as soon as he can. Being as he's strategist, he wants him as strong as he can to help with uh, strategies, bits and pieces like that. Uh, currently in service in Jiang Sha, we have also this very bizarre situation of Liu Bei taking Jiang Sha away um, from effectively Wu surrogate uh, via the turbans. And, you know, Liu Bei having a second f uh, army. And second city is not the worst here. There's obviously all sorts of movement towards Xiao Pei. It looks like the Wu forces here might actually be marching to like Ping Yuan. Um, there is all sorts going on here. And still a load of troops here. Look at this here. Freaking. Uh, look at this. This is 60,000 troops, 350,000 food. I think there's more food than I have in total. It is disgusting. Uh, going back down the officer list here. I do apologize. That is the wrong list. Professionalism. Okay, then. Uh, next up is uh, Mr. Luke Barham. I can go up to the L's. Uh, Luke Barham. There he is here. Again, another uh, long-time uh, member of Liu Bei's forces. Again, just another one. You know, a pretty solid deck of all trades, uh, which is unfortunately why he hasn't really got a command, because they're just loads of distinguished officers with just like 90 plus in something or another, which is just absurd. Uh, 40 years old, however, very good spear general. Uh, Enlister would be really, really nice, especially if in the control of a player character. Um, obviously, Alonso has been able to get a decent amount of use out of uh, one of uh, the enlisters in the game. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get hold of one. I was hoping to pick up someone like Luke uh, early in the game. Never happened. Obviously, I'm now halfway across the damn world, so that's not the way it's going to be. But um, I probably should have get himself a, a rank up, improve his political skill a little bit, help with recruiting maybe. I, I think it would have been outrageous. Uh, next up on the list... Uh, going into the M's now, another one of my uh, created officers, uh, Mao Zie, getting on now, 55 years old, of course, uh, he's also a member of Liu Bei's force, he's got a lot, it's Liu Bei, he picks up a ton of officers, it's just, it's just how he rolls here, uh, but yeah, 55 years old, uh, again, unfortunately no officership for him, which is a shame, so he's got clear fort, which is one of the much more, I think, effective, uh, effective 
uh, skills in the game. I think um, Feng Sao has shown. It's a great way of just ensuring that you've got a unit. You can build it solidly. You're always going to have control. You don't have to worry about it getting confused or anything like that. Very, very solid uh, troops here. Again, no one the ones. Originally a member of the Han. Um, ended up meant to have been joining with uh, Wei and uh, fighting down at Chibi. But this is RTK 11 where history doesn't necessarily matter, very sadly. Main Huo's in the game, by the way, now, should be noted. Uh, joining in uh, with Liu Zhang's forces. Uh, he would be very fun to get hold of. Could be um, entertaining to have him as an officer. Maybe even like going up north, staring at Han Zhong. There's plenty of forest around there, around like the um, around like the building slots. So maybe something I could use up in the in the in the future. Uh, S pikes there as well. Uh, decent leadership and war. Pretty pretty solid officer thing. Like, we we'll see what we can do. Anyways, going back to more create officers. Uh, next up is the mighty spleen. Uh, now in service of Sun Quan after a fairly uh, a long service in Southern Jing. Uh, currently uh, over at Hai Ling, which I believe is the port, uh, one of the ports uh, in Southern Jing here. Uh, 50 years old, uh, S Cavalry, of course. Um, hasn't had the biggest service in the game, unfortunately. This is partially due to his service of uh, the Southern Jing Lord. I forget his name now. It's been a little while. Um, where he saw some use. Obviously, saw a little bit of action against Alonso. Alonso hoping to pick him up. Didn't quite happen. Now serving with Wu and looking to be hopefully a bit of a fall on the side. Or so I can hope. Uh, next up, Mars O'Brien, a long-time server of the Yuan family from Yuan Xiao, staying along with Yuan Tan. Uh, one of the many, many officers at Jiangking, which is under threat potentially from the uh, from the Wu forces. Four eight years old, pretty much the only sorcerer in the entire game. Unfortunately, we've not seen any sorcery use really happen. Uh, but he hasn't seen the most field action, which is a kind of a shame, really. Uh, he's a second lieutenant, though, which gives him some decent command, which ain't too bad. Uh, we will probably need to, like, try and keep an eye on the field to see if we can see Miles in the field. Actually see some sorcery in action. I am um, pretty sure he's the only one. There might be one of the Narman officers that can use sorcery. I do forget. Um, but uh, we haven't been able to see any of it, sadly. So that's something that we will need to do. Next up is Nambu Kiyosuke. Uh, the very, very strong military general of leadership, war, intellect team. See, leadership and war gone up very, very solidly here. Very impressive. Uh, Prefect um, over at Hai Ling, uh, representing that he's got a decent, uh, decent rank now in the wing forces. 39 years old, a promotion, of course. Really nice uh, tactic to use against weaker forces um, that you can take out reliably, get your will back uh, that way, keep him going. That's a nice little ability there. Um, Hai Ling is i think he's one of the ports actually like over uh, over here oh yeah actually wow actually the prefect and the the current spearhead of the invasion forces jiap which is uh kind of crazy if you think about it. oh wait Zhang ping's up here what am i talking about Zhang ping is um which one's Zhang ping hmm. i knew what i meant earlier but yeah so he's spearheading the charge of jiap again i think it's very possible that jiap is gonna fall to woo not what I'd expect I'd been saying several um, several sessions ago, but uh, it's a crazy game, everyone, as this series has demonstrated. Uh, next up on our list, uh, we are on to the, uh, the ends, so go down. Uh, I think next up on the list is uh, Chi Song. Uh, 61 years old now, which is very sad. So you can see his skills are starting to recess. I suspect Chi Song probably doesn't have the longest left in this game. Uh, the clerk from Chiao County, who has been uh, advising uh, Lord Liu Bei with his songisms since basically the start of the game. Uh, he is Liu Bei's negotiator as well. Seems the perfect <laughs> rank for the man. But uh, yeah, at 61 years old... <coughs> Might not be too long left for Chi Song, but we don't know. Like some of the, I remember some of the created officers got some crazy roles, and like they're fairly going to be alive till like they're about like eighty something, which is very very high for this game. Um, but given the degree of recession for Chi Song, don't think he's one of those, sadly. Which is a shame because I've I've enjoyed his company in this game. It's been good. Uh, heading further down into the S's, uh, Mr. Shang Dun, of course, has had one of the most eventful lives. <laughs> In the entire game of created officers, uh, the original server, 
um, of, I believe it was Wei Forces, then joined uh, with Liu Bei, mounted the insurrection in Northern Jing, which, which uh, Alonzo had to put down, and is now reserving uh, the turbans, I'm sure, under a very watchful eye. Plenty of deeds, plenty of command, of course, being that he's with the turbans. Shame he can't make more use out of that. He is the siege expert. I would not be surprised if I see um, Shang Du maybe move down towards to attack me, but um, I don't know, it depends how offensive Alonzo wants to be from Xinyi. He's been pretty happy just to kind of stay back there. And I imagine Lonzo wants to avenge his loss at Yong'an, so very possible that uh, he might draw Shang Du down and look to attack me with him. I wouldn't be shocked. Uh, speaking of other officers as well, we've got Shui Jiang, another one of my created officers here. Um, servant, of course, of the Hua, 33 years old, a possessor of the War Minister's Methods, which gives her all guard effects um, in uh, available for use in debates, which is basically gave it for the lawyer which is unsurprising here again another officer i kind of wish i'd gotten access to but it didn't quite happen uh the spouse of Zhang yun also kind of weird as well uh with shui jiang uh yeah she was obviously originally uh meant to actually join with Liu bei's forces how i've had her but uh, never quite happened um Ben to see how things are going. Obviously, she is a member of Deng Xi's unit, who was heavily involved in the defense of Yong An, and is now just getting the hell out of here since I'm about to take it. I'm sure I will be seeing plenty more of Shui Jiang before all is said and done. While more music changes, we go through the last few officers. There's, there's a lot of created officers in the game. We probably have more created officers in the game now. Then we did at the start. We had like several officers who weren't meant to initially appear until a little bit later on into the game here. So, uh, hence this takes uh, a little while to go through. There's a lot of officers. Again, I'm hugely appreciative of everyone who did submit the officers into the series, even if not every one of those are potentially watching at this point. I'm still very, very grateful. Regardless. Okay then, so next up is uh, one of the people who doesn't look like he's got very long left in the game. That is Mr. Sulade. Um, his star has been called. Uh, it doesn't look like he's got very much longer to go. Fortunately, he never get his own personal re revenge against Lubu, who has died in this game, which is a great shame. But 44 years old, looks like he's possibly going to suffer a um, potentially an early, an early uh, death, which is a great shame. Still a pretty decent general, though, leadership in war. Iron War was pretty nice little ability to have, um, but I fear we may not be seeing too much left of him. Obviously, a member of the Alpha's service. Uh, heading on up further down. Uh, we go to uh, Sun Yu Sin, who was uh, one of the another one of the created officers I created for the game, a member of uh, obviously the Sun family, which is the whole point. Uh, he was actually meant to be a Wu officer, not although Sun, uh, not actually a member of the family. That's just a little thing here. The uh, the uh, little master, I thought it was a nice little uh, thing. Unfortunately, dying Hei Fei from pretending it's an ambush. That's kind of the history I gave from. Anyways, he's over at Lu Jiang, um, who it obviously has got a ton of troops in. How he's not got an officership, I don't know. I think that's very, very unfortunate to see. He's a very good officer here. Um, as you see, 35 years old, cunning, espos, uh, good navy as well. Um... Like, I would love to have this man's service, believe me. I'd make so much use out of him. I don't really have any navy guys. I don't really have any particular bow guys either. That's I like Yarn Yarn, for example. Um, so, you know, someone like him would be loving forces. But it was never meant to happen, which is, which is okay. I'm, I'm okay with this. Right, heading on further down here. Um, I think I've actually missed one up here. I believe I did. Um, which would be... Um, yeah, completely missed, unfortunately. Li Sheng Soon, I am very sorry. Uh, the member of Wei Force has been for a lot of the game. Fernie is nine years of age. Uh, he is now a lieutenant in Cao Ang's forces. 11,000 command. That's really nice. So there's 91 intelligence, 86 war. Um, some very, very desirable stats there. Uh, and well worth getting hold of the command there. Uh, there's the bio. I don't remember a lot of the bios. I haven't for a little while, admittedly. Uh, but yeah, he's currently serviced in Zhu Chang. Um, Lee, I believe, was involved in trying to take Xin Ye from uh, Alonzo. Uh, Critical Ambush is really nice if you would give him, say, like um, like a spear unit or the bow unit and just ambushing in the, um, in the forest there would be very effective. But yeah, I tend not to use that ability as much as I don't think. Which is a bit of a shame. But plenty of time left in this game. 
I could easily see someone like Li Sheng soon end up getting uh, joining with uh, the Yellow Turbans. I can see this happening. Um, and Alonso would be very grateful of his services, I can assure you. All right, then. Further on down, I believe we're getting down into the back end of things. Uh, we have got... Uh, yeah, going to the W's. Uh, I have got a credit officer for uh, Wang Yuanji, who is an officer that came obviously later on in the Dice Warriors series. Is not yet due to appear. We are probably unlikely to see her in this game. Um, due to the fact that she's obviously was uh, obviously the Sima Zhao's um, wife and all that sort of thing. The whole Jin stuff. Which we're unlikely to get into far enough in the game to start seeing that occur. But it's hard to know, you know. We're going to get to a point in a few years where a lot of those sort of younger officers are going to start coming into the game. We're in a bit of a low period of new officers coming up currently. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but we do have several other W's, of course. We have Way David. Oh, Alonso. It will never end, will it? Uh, currently stationed in one uh, with the Wei forces, a sub-officer, uh, one of the highest ranks that uh, Cao Ang has access to, which makes me kind of funny. 12,000 command potentially at him here. 34 years of age, force marked, which is really, really nice, um, giving uh, extra movement to stuff like, you know, uh, bow units, obviously, especially that sort of thing. Very nice and nimble, pretty solid uh, officer here. Um, and that's one of the highest ranks I think any creative officer has in this entire game. So Wei David doing exceptionally good for himself. Uh, sticking with, uh, I think that's all the W's. So heading on down into the X's. Uh, I have my created officer of uh, Xing Kai, or Xing Sai, or however you want to call her, who I gave obviously to Liu Bei. Should be not be this old realistically but i kind of modified her, her birth slightly to get into the game just for the purposes of making it more interesting obviously very strong general which i made her admittedly um the obviously the daughter of Zhang Fei and all the rest of that and the bio that i stole from one of the dice warriors games um she is an officer of the bays um she would probably have a higher rank than this except for the fact that um well, when you've got the likes of Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, Zhao Yun, and had Lu Bu, and these sort of things, pretty hard to draw, to um, break into the top four officer ships in Liu Bei's forces. So as far as that's concerned, she's like almost like best of the rest. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, also, I believe that's all the only X we've got here, so we go into the Ys, of which there are many. First up is... Um, I think it's, um, Yo is it Yoko Z first? No, no, it'd be Yoko Z, I believe. Ah, they're kind of the same numbers, it's fine. Uh, so, of course, Yoko Z, the unlikely commander of my forces after Zhang Zhu's death. Still seems kind of absurd that she is my, uh, my sovereign in this game. Though it is, of course, exceptionally amusing. Uh, a really super war stat. She has been a really, really important to my uh, forces. Uh, Iron Wall, obviously pretty nice to have that as a potential uh, protection against any fun. See, something like Iron Wall and Aegis just makes her, gives us such a high defense stat. Even if I'm rocking with, like, you know, um, like a high cavalry with an officer or bows or something like that, or even the weaponry, just gives really good protection and just makes it a really solid, rugged unit. She is in possession of the Firestar and Hand Spear, it's possible I might give one of these out. I might give, like, the hand spear out to me, like, be gaming or something. Someone who's going to get into more duels than Yoko, who really isn't going to do so. Um, this might be a decent idea for me to do in the next video. Uh, but I'll delve about that. We have, um... <laughs> we have, uh, you know, a few things. I think it was Alonso, actually, uh, it brought in Yoko Z as well. So there's the irony of his officer. One of his officers being my sovereign of the game. And of course, the story of me traveling halfway across China to establish up in Yi province has been amazing, everyone, to put it mildly. It has been amazing. Uh, yeah, so next up, we've got Yo Gui, who is of the wife of Gongsun Jia. Also originally a servant of the Gongsun family, marrying into the Gongsun family. Uh, unfortunately, of course, Gongsu's defeat meant that him, along with many, many others, ended up joining with Yuan family forces and has remained there pretty much since. Uh, he is an East sub officer, again, a pretty decent rank here over at Jiao Pei, which is looking in real trouble. He is obviously out currently on the field serving. And he's a look at his stats here 84, 83, 91, 78. 
Like, he's a he's useless at recruiting, but outside of that, like, a very capable general. Um, and so he should do capture, of course. Really, really nice. Defeats officers, get floats captures. Probably one of the reasons we've seen a lot of prisoners uh, for the Yuan, the Yuan family. Um, and probably pick up quite a few officers since, but just capturing tons of people. Really, really impressive. It was obviously meant to join with Cao Cao, but this never happened. Uh, we've only got a couple more left. Uh, next up is Yu Dei, uh, another member, member of Liu Zhang's forces. I was kind of hoping to actually... Uh, one of the officers I'm kind of interested in getting hold of here, potentially, um, in the game. Uh, he is obviously a negotiator, which is kind of handy to have. But more so, he is S Navy. Um, is one thing I do not have in this game is any Navy officers. I've not really needed any Naval officers, to be fair. Um, but with the fun due to come with Alonso, and obviously you've got here with uh, Wu Xian and perhaps taking it, defending it. Someone like Yu Dei could be very useful to have on that front. You know, Yu Dei, Su Fei, uh, actual, you know, reasonably decent uh, generals in the waters. And I might actually be able to defend myself there, but uh, I'm unsure if I'm going to make a stand and defend the port or just kind of leave it. I am uh, undecided at this moment. Uh, not the most D's treasury officer, but if I can get him under my service, a very solid all-rounder, um, I'm sure I can find some use for Mr. Day here. Um, we've got only a couple more left here. I believe next up is, um, uh, I know you'll do is one of them. Uh, he was again, been with uh, Lee Bay since virtually at the start of the game was originally a member of Yuan Sha uh, Yuan Shu's forces. I should say, actually, uh, joining in there. Uh, I always liked his bios. One of my favorite bios actually, um, that I gave, I, I really enjoyed some of the bars again for some of the couch in this game. Really, really good times. I ended up serving with Liu Qi and joining with Liu Bei, which he definitely did do. Uh, S Cavalry, Cavalry General, unbelievably good combination. His war stat's not the greatest, but it's totally fine. Very, very strong. He's obviously an officer as well of Liu Bei. Um, and like someone like, if I had Yul do on my forces, oh my god, I would be loving it uh having a cavalry general they are very very strong really really good times um and i believe the last one in the list here is uh yu shang who was one or more of my creative officers a uh, stalwart of way although currently a prisoner um of um of alonzo's could potentially join him which would be bad for me because i'm very sure he would be immediately employed in the fight against me Yu Shang, very solid all round. A 43 years of age, still got some time left as well. A Jane under the great general, that's capitalized by the way, Shang <laughs> um, Liao, um, and became a long time server of his forces. All right, I think that's pretty much all of the uh, all the created officers gone for. Obviously, there's some notable ones here still. Of course, Yu Ge Liang being with freaking Liu Bei is absurd. Of course, there's divine potency, one of the best tactics in the entire damn game. A few things I'm supposed to have a look at just of note here. Um, Cao Ang is of note. We've mentioned this a few times, but Cao Ang, he should be dead. Cao Ang should have died a long time ago. Uh, obviously, he originally was, was killed at one castle with Zhang Zhu, which should have happened years ago. Because it happened in battle, the game kind of gives him a few extra years. And being as he's the sovereign of a force, it's kind of given him some extra time as well. But um, Cao Ang is due to die very, very short, which means that Cao Pi is incredibly likely to be the next uh, ruler of Wei, as which makes sense. It would have been Cao Pi, obviously, from Cao Cao in the first place, which happened historically, because Cao Ang was obviously, he was dead. He was the oldest son, so it went to uh, Cao Pi, who was second son. Um, but yeah, Cao Pi will look to take over here, um, which will be very good. Interesting to see what's going to happen with the game when Cao Pi uh, takes over. He is, um, you know, cool, obviously, character. Will live for a long, long time unless he basically dies in battle. Cunning, also a very nice little ability given. He's got high intelligence, war. Obviously, a very strong all round. Not quite as good as his father, but uh, plenty of time left. Anyways, that's all for the video. So, thank you all for watching this quick little recap. Uh, yeah, next time we will be resuming uh, normal service with my eventual taking of Yong An. Obviously, keeping an eye south, looking to deal with Yunnan, take out Liu Zhang, recruit some of his many, many officers, um, stock up my front lines, and kind of see what's going to happen. And it'll be interesting to see what the, what, the, what uh, Alonzo is going to do here. I would not be surprised for him to retreat to Jiangling and look to retaliate very, very shortly. 
Um, he's not really being harassed at one castle. He's fended off at Xinye, which is looking pretty safe. Maybe have eyes on Han Zhong, so I would be not shocked to see a retaliatory force at Yongan. He doesn't want me sitting here and building up if he can help it. We'll see. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you soon.